Aurora's Hollywood Casino is moving. The vote coming down late tonight. The western suburb will be kicking in $50 million to help build out the region's first casino resort. CBS 2's Chris Ty live for us tonight in Aurora, where city leaders wanted to guarantee that taxpayers won't be on the line for that money, and it got a bit heated tonight. Chris? It got heated, Joe. This is the spot. We're right off I-88, right across from the outlet malls. People know where this is at in Aurora. This used to be a Motel 6. It was a COVID-19 testing site at City Land. Folks in Aurora didn't have a problem with the location. What they had a problem with, and they got vocal about it tonight, was all about the city money that's being attached to this project. The light is shining a little brighter, a whole lot brighter in the city of Aurora. Amid applause and a 12 nothing vote. The ordinance is approved. Aurora City Council approving the move of the Hollywood Casino, which comes with the city contributing $50 million. Money coming from selling bonds, paid for by increased property taxes from the casino, not taxpayers. Whose city? Our, Our city. city! But some taxpayers don't like the city um, kicking in anything, given the casino owners made $75 million from their now 30-year-old Riverfront Aurora Casino last year. It needs to be voted on by the residents of the city of Aurora. And when I say our best interests, I don't mean what you think our best interests are. I mean what we tell you our best interests are. No more money to billionaires! The meeting got so heated, a handful of opponents had to be removed. But not to this joker! This joker! A meeting the mayor says sets the future for Illinois' second largest city. We are energized, re-energizing our city. We are really redeveloping our city. We are reimagining our city. The new $360 million facility will be built here across from the Aurora Outlet Mall off I-88 in Farnsworth. Construction to begin late next year and will be built with a 200 room hotel and a 10,000 square foot event center. City Council members wanted to guarantee that even if this casino were to go dark, say in five or six years, that the city of Aurora wouldn't be on the line for it. They were promised that even if something like that were to occur, the owners of the casino, Penn Gaming, would have to make the city whole. By the way, Joe, there was a mention that they wanted to get this thing going and off the ground before Chicago's casino got the firm green light and go ahead. We're live in Aurora tonight. Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Busy night there, Chris. Thank you.